In extreme circumstances, it may be necessary to rebuild your Solo X woofer in the field. Don't worry, the mechanical engineers at Kicker have got this solved. They make it easy. You don't need any glues or any adhesives. All you're going to need is a 3.5 millimeter Allen wrench. I like to use an Allen tip and an extension. It makes this process much quicker. First thing we need to do is take out the eight short bolts on the front of the speaker. We'll set these aside in a designated location so they'll get confused with the back bolts. Next, we'll take off the trim ring of the woofer. Now we need to access the remaining eight bolts on the back of the speaker. We'll turn it on its side to make this process easier. Now we can remove the damaged cone assembly by grabbing the surround and gently pulling it away from the frame. And you can discard this, you'll no longer need it. When you order your cone replacement assembly, make sure its impedance matches the impedance of the basket. They are not interchangeable. It will also come with these eight alignment pins. These are very important to help make sure the voice coil is centered within the gap. We'll take the alignment pins and we're going to insert them through the forced air cooling vents in the back of the speaker, making sure not to bend them and being careful because they may hang up on the top plate of the speaker. Make sure all eight of the mounting pins are flush against the back plate of the speaker. On the front side of the speaker, you want to make sure the pins are resting against the pole piece. The magnet will help pull them in place. Something else you can do is you can bend them in slightly so it's going to make it easier to align the voice coil on top of the pins during reassembly. Now we'll grab the spare assembly. This assembly can be mounted in any orientation. Now we'll carefully hold the pins and slide the voice coil over the alignment pins, gently snapping the cone into place. Make sure all the alignment pins are flush against the back plate to ensure that no pins have gotten outside of the voice coil when you're reassembling the woofer. Now it's just a matter of installing the eight bolts on the back of the speaker, making sure not to cross thread or over tighten them. Now that those eight bolts are put in place and snug down, we can take out the alignment pins. Now we'll flip the speaker back up on its magnet. Now we can grab the front trim ring and it also can be mounted in any orientation. Snap it gently in place. Grab the eight short bolts and put them into the front assembly of the speaker. And that's all there is to it. It took less than five minutes to do that, didn't require any special tools, glues, or adhesives. Now all you have to do is put the woofer back in your enclosure and you're good to go.